are back out in the world. This time in the uh, west west coast of Sweden here. A little about an hour's drive north of uh, Gothenburg. And just on the start of a three-week holiday we have here. We brought our bikes with us once again. And we drove up uh, to the campsite here yesterday. And we're staying in a town near a town called Smurgen. Um, a very nice uh, tourist town here on the west coast. It's the most popular tourist town here on this west coast. So we're uh, going to take a ride in there in the evening. I can show you. It's a really cosy town, Smergen. Lots of nice wooden Swedish houses. Very typical Swedish uh, little village town here. So, uh, plan is we'll stay here a day and get ready, get our bikes ready and our biking bags and uh, cycle along the coast to a town called Fjellbacke. Another nice, very nice Swedish town. The plan. We've got the uh, Meadows parents have joined us this week as well, the first week. And, uh, so we'll be staying here on the coast, having a nice easy ride to Fjellbacke. And then uh, two weeks after that, not sure yet, we'll make a plan, see what we're planning to, uh, we plan to go, where we'll cycle to and uh, what we'll do, not sure yet. We'll make it up as we go along, like last year. We only planned to come here just a few weeks ago, so we'll uh, start here and we'll make it up as we go along. Close to the center here, Smargan. Good morning, today is the 7th of July 2021, we've just uh, been camping here. We just packed away, we parked the cars away. We have to uh, gonna go and have a short cycle tour around this part of Sweden. But his parents are joining us uh, on their electric touring bikes, so that'll be good. So uh, we're gonna explore around, so go to a town called Fjallbacke today, so that'll be good. Following the main road here, 174. Not too many options here. There's a lot of traffic on this road. And not too many cycling paths in Sweden. This is the first town we're arriving in here on the way to Fjellbag. It's called Bobil Strand. Nice town here, nice Swedish town. Yes, better back on our bike again. Feeling fit after you should be training this year. <laughs> ah, just here, enjoying their first break. After 10 kilometers, time for a rest and look at the view here. Future is here. Leaving Bowville Strand. Next up will be Hamburg or Sun. Back here in Hamburg, son came here five years ago. I actually got a picture from this very cafe. We're just actually sitting on nearly the same table. <laughs> it's funny to think about it. Uh, it's a really nice town, nice summer's day here. People taking the ferry over there to uh, Hamburg Island. So, just sitting here at the ice cream shop in Hamburg, son. How's it going, Jamie? You can answer in Danish if you want to, and I'll translate it, okay? How's it, what's it like to be back on your bike? I said it's not going very well. I think the weather could be a bit better. <laughs> uh, but you, Lena, what's it like on the electric touring bikes? They're not really doing much, but uh, trying to look like they're cycling. I can't believe it's super for me, it's super. It's really nice to sit on the back of it. 
She hates it, thinks I wish I never came on this holiday. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> terrible. The weather's been awful and this bike is so rubbish. <laughs> How about you, Meta? Is it uh, going on? Okay? stay down here in the sun. Are you getting the benefit of your training? Yeah, I like the yeah. yeah. She's still struggling, thinks it's really hard. <laughs> and uh, wish she had an electric <laughs> bike as well. Never mind. Just bought her a nice shoely and then she could have. Uh... How about you, Torben? How's it going on the electric bike? Yes, <laughs> man. So he's complaining about the hills. Too many hills. Hills everywhere. And they're really steep. And he's hurting his legs. So now he's going to buy a bigger battery. <laughs> so, never mind that. I'll go and buy them all an ice cream and see if that helps. We've got eight kilometers to Fjellbaka. Nice break, perfect place to stop on the way to Fjellbaka. Now it's time to do the last eight kilometers and we'll uh, be in Fjellbaka. to come for the past six months we couldn't get here because of restrictions but now we're allowed to come and we can see it's full of life full of tourists great to see see you now what this is one of our favorite towns in sweden just as we remember it yeah? Campsite here. Not much space here on the campsite, but uh, they managed to squeeze us in. Nice small campsite, just surrounded by the uh, the rocks here. Okay, back in the town once again. Feel like a, an important uh, evening ahead. Um, Denmark are actually playing England in the semi-final of the Euro 2021. <laughs> That'll be good. That'll be a good game. Both teams have been playing well so far, so we should be good. Found a place here, a pizza restaurant, where they've got a big screen. So we'll go in now and have an evening in there, watch a bit of football. Well, this is what it's like watching football in Sweden. Denmark versus England. It's the national anthem, the Danish coach there. Should be a good game. Denmark, 1-0. Oh, oh. What are you thinking about that, Denmark? The 1-1. One, one. <laughs> <laughs> Denmark scored first, now it's equal again. So, both teams have played 90 minutes plus 6 minutes and 1-1. One, one. Oh no, we have to go into extra playing time. Oh dear. Harry Kane just scores. Penalty. <laughs> okay, quite a good result for the English guy. So good for the Danish ones, but uh, they admit that England played quite well. <laughs> well, that was the end of our first day here cycling in Sweden. Nice to have Midas parents with us as well. So, uh, they're doing well on the electric bikes. So, uh, 
nice to be in this town here, Fjellbakke. Really pretty, cozy town here. Now tomorrow we're going to have a, a day here, a little bit of sightseeing. Oh, uh, and walk through. There's a gorge we can walk through and uh, yeah, just enjoy the day here. So uh, yeah, we'll um, maybe do a bit of filming again tomorrow and be back on the bikes. And the day after tomorrow, heading up into the interior inland in the forest and some of the lakes here in Sweden.